The modern church of the Annunciation is topped with a uniquely shaped concrete dome 55 meters high. Its shape is based on the Madonna Lily, a symbol of the Virgin Mary. The church is located in the center of the city of Nazareth on Casa Nova Street. It stands over the site that was believed to be the site of Mary's house, where Angel Gabriel appeared and announced to Mary that she is about to give birth of Jesus. We're going to Basilica of Annunciation. <laughs> The Catholic Church of the Annunciation, also known as the Basilica of the Annunciation, is the most impressive and spectacular site in the city and is considered to be one of the most holy churches for Christianity. The church, an outstanding building in the center of town, is built where it's believed the house the Virgin Mary was. On the church's walls, as well as in its yard, is presented an exhibition of mosaic paintings. Its painting was given by a different country and is reflecting the national motives of the country it was made on. The Catholic Church of Annunciation, the biggest, most magnificent church in the Middle East, it was designed by Italian architect Giovanni Muscio, built by Solel Bone and established in 1969. The church has two stories, we survived enough space for a large amount of worshippers as well as preservation of the Holy Cave and remains of the previous churches. The church is a powerful, monumental building inducing a sense of eternity. Entry is from the west where signs indicate a route for visitors. Over a door on the southern side stands a statue of Mary, ages 14, welcoming all who come to visit her home. The massive two-story basilica, in a strikingly modern architectural style and colorfully decorated, became the largest Christian church in the Middle East when it was completed in 1969. It contains two churches, the upper one being the parish church for Nazareth's Catholic community. On the lower level is the most holy place, Mary's Cave, the cave in which, according to the Catholic Christian tradition, Mary was visited by Archangel Gabriel and told her she is destined to carry Jesus in her womb. The first church was built on the site in 427 AD and a few others have been built and destroyed since. In the current building, which was established in 1969, there are still remains of the previous churches. 
the lower level presents the architectural fortitude required for building this church. Above, the marvelous lily dome is a symbol to Virgin Mary's purity. This area is slightly dark, maintaining the mysterious atmosphere surrounding the wonder of the Annunciation. This level is also where the remains of previous churches are preserved. The stone wall along the church and behind the cave has remained from the Crusader era church from 12th century. Excavations have revealed some Crusader era artifacts, some of the most beautiful pieces of art from those times, which are presented in the museum located under the plaza outside of the higher level. The lower church is centered around the grotto, which according to the tradition was the home of Mary and the site of the Annunciation. The remnants of churches from the Crusader and Byzantine eras are seen around the grotto. The grotto's interior, with the beautiful 18th century altar dedicated to the Annunciation. On the right of the altar, an ancient column, probably placed there in the 4th century, to mark the place where the angel appeared. Behind it, are stairs that lead up to a small cave called Mary's Kitchen and annex it to the yard. On the altar, the words Vervum Caro Hic Factum is, Here the Word was made flesh. This text is from John chapter 1, verse 14. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the One and Only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. A Byzantine mosaic is found on the floor of the small grotto to the west of the shrine. The 5th century AD mosaic is spells in Greek for Conon, deacon of Jerusalem, which may have been the founder of the Byzantine church. Deacon is a title of a honorable position in the church. The story of the Annunciation from Luke chapter 1 verse 26 to 38. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto the city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin spouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, 
Hail thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said unto the angel, How shall this be? seeing I know not a man. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Annunciation Mosaic from the Philippines, the angel then appears to Joseph. The first church on the site, venerated as Mary's home, was built around 427. The main subject of the mosaic is the coronation of the Virgin, with five scenes from the life of Mary Benedict. The Annunciation, the Nativity, the adoration of the kings, the presentation in the temple, and the door mission. The upper basilica, its soaring dome shape like an inverted lily, glorifies Mary as the mother of God. With lovely mid-20th century flair, the beer cast concrete is adorned with indented guts. <laughs> 